all throughout the city of Macon are buildings, monuments, and even signs similar to the four color sign right behind me that showcase the history of the city and what the city has gone through. Some good, some bad, and even some hidden masterpieces that were built by black artisans. Do you remember one of the books we read? And one of them was about Martin Luther King, right? Remember he wanted to get an ice cream at the ice cream parlor? Mm -hmm. And what happened there? Was he able to do that? No. Why? Because he was black and they were white. Reading about the history, it's quite shocking re on reading it online. But here, standing here and noticing it right now in person, it's just a different level of how, how, how messed up it was. That's how many people react seeing this colored waiting room sign at Macon's Terminal Station. It dates back to the time when the old train station was built during the Jim Crow era a century ago. Landmarks like this are why George Muhammad started his Macon Black History Tour 18 years ago. You, know, you feel a lot of sadness, some degree of anger, and then just a, a strong reality of what this country has been about uh, when, you, when you look at it and reflect on it. Muhammad's goal is to not only reflect on the past, but to keep the legacy and history of black stories alive. From Douglas Theater. It was a refuge, uh, a place that you could come away from this world of, of uh, humiliation and torture and, and fear. And, and it's a cultural uh, uh, jewel. To Poplar Street. This was a place of selling goods but also very notably is, is a place of selling enslaved black people. Muhammad is dedicated to uncovering the history of Macon's past. In Macon, this is TJ Anthony, 13 WMAZ News.